We just got another huge news blowout and a ton of new information for Suicide Squad Kill the Just League that was done through a dev Q&A over on the official Discord. There were a ton of questions that people asked and that Rock said he had answered, including whether or not you guys hit the like button on this video. Now, I'm not going to be able to go over every single one of these answers, but there's a couple of key ones that I want to talk about and share with you guys. Some that feature some pretty good news, honestly, for Suicide Squad Kill the Just League and its live service elements. But if you want to read through the entire Q&A, you can obviously join the official Suicide squad kill the just league discord but okay let's jump into this the first question here was asked do you guys have announced season one to four including new characters such as the joker and new content such as weapons and maps what can we expect in terms of new main story missions or side story missions new cutscenes, new mission types rock said he is known for its superb storytelling and voice performances and i hope we can expect to see more of that in the end game content the answer here coming from kate over at rock city we're going to continue to tell the story through cutscenes for new characters as well as new content for them in the hall of justice and audio logs going into greater detail about the relationships you might not otherwise see from a narrative perspective the core of suicide squad kill the justice league is the relationships with the squad from the cutscenes to the in-game banter how they respond to each other and how that develops over time is key kate goes on to say getting the opportunity to throw new characters into that mix is really exciting obviously harley has history with arkham joker so getting past her initial gut reaction to our joker and accepting him for who he really is is going to be hard for her most of the others instantly come to the not wrong conclusion that they need to be careful around the Joker. Boomerang is terrified of him, Deadshot has no time for his nonsense, and King Shark is fascinated to learn more about this latest squad member. I am cautiously optimistic about this answer because part of this answer says that when we get new characters and new content added to the game like the Joker joining the squad, there is going to be some cutscenes and some interactivity and some narrative there. But there's also mention of some of that narrative being tied to audio logs and things that that you're gonna find when you're walking around the Hall of Justice. I just hope that there is going to be enough substance within cutscenes and an actual narrative for us to sink our teeth into whenever new characters come to this game. Towards the later half of the Avengers life cycle, we started to get new characters added and all we really got in terms of cutscenes was kind of an animated comic and then some audio logs where you get all the lore of how they joined the team. I much prefer getting expansions like War for Wakanda for that game or even some of the stuff that they did for Kate Bishop and Hawkeye. I understand and I appreciate that they're adding a whole new character with a brand new traversal set, combat, and all that for free into the game. But I just hope that there is going to be something there when Joker is added that's more than audio logs. I know that the audio logs are always going to be something that's added into these games. I mean, it was even in the Arkham games. It just adds more lore to the story. But I just personally hope that those audio logs aren't meant to replace what could have been some really cool cutscenes. Moving on though, the next question and answer is a doozy. This is about the battle. Battle Pass. I know a ton of people have wanted to learn more about how this is going to work in this game. And the question from Lucas in the Discord is rather simple. How does the Battle Pass work? And Darius Sadigian over at Rocksteady answered here. We received lots of questions about the Battle Pass and there's a lot to cover here, so I'll try to break it all down. The Battle Pass in Suicide Squad Kill the Just League will be cosmetic only, have both a premium and free track, and a new Battle Pass will be released with each season. The first Battle Pass will be released with the launch of Season 1, a few weeks after the game initial release. So far, pretty standard fare with any game that has a battle pass in it. He continues to say here that there will be 75 tiers to complete in Season 1's battle pass, and included within will be outfits, emotes, banners, swatches, and some premium currency. This can be used to purchase cosmetic items in the store or go towards purchasing future premium battle passes. Again, any game that has a battle pass pretty much follows these main pillars. You know, you're gonna get currency within the battle pass that if you get through all the tiers, it can help you unlock the next battle pass and of course there is a premium version where you're going to be getting the cool cosmetics and all the nice stuff but also there's going to be some free items along the way for anybody that doesn't want to pay for the battle pass here's where things get interesting though in their answer it's mentioned we're also happy to announce that you will be able to go back and play previous battle passes after a season ends we believe that our team has created some of the best looking cosmetic items ever and we want those to be available for our players to enjoy without the fear that they'll miss out on anything he goes on to say that as a reminder each season will have a new playable character, a new Elseworld to explore, loads of new gear, new missions to play, and more all for free. The premium battle pass is an optional extra for those who want to look extra fly while kicking some Brainiac butt. And keep in mind, all purchasable items are completely optional and do not affect gameplay in any way. Okay, so loads to unpack here, but I am glad to hear that Rocksteady is following the trend from 343 with Halo Infinite where they had a battle pass that is ongoing, one that you can return to and complete at any time. 
Listen, I love me some Fortnite just as much as anybody, okay? But I don't have enough time to be able to get through all 100 tiers of a battle pass unless I'm playing the game 24 7 and it's the only game that i'm playing for the three months that a season is active and if there's a really cool skin that is at tier 100 within the battle pass then i missed out i can no longer obtain it but with this battle pass that they're implementing into suicide squad kill the just league that will never be the case even when we see season two three and four come into the game and all the battle passes that are going to be tied to those seasons you can still go back and unlock all the cosmetics and everything that's available within the season one battle pass this in my opinion is how all games in the future from here on out that have a battle pass in them should operate it's better to just let players take their time with a game as massive as something like suicide squad kill the justice league and you never know how many different games people want to be playing at once it's unfair to assume that someone is just going to dedicate 100 of their time to your game now another key question that was asked that i think we got a really good answer out of somebody asked rocksteady will there be a way to replay the campaign and ian at rocksteady said yes absolutely you can replay the whole story or just jump back and replay your favorite mission maybe you want to replay the story as joker or maybe you want to fight the flash over and over as different squad members these options are all available to you if you want a tougher new game plus type challenge then we have our metropolis invasion levels when you start the game you have the standard easy medium and hard difficulty levels but once the main story has been completed we unlock five additional difficulty levels over and above hard you have to complete missions while playing on an invasion level to unlock the next higher level that means you can replay the whole story and increase the challenge as you go if you are good enough to survive another little sneak peek into how this will work is that these invasion levels not only increase the difficulty of the game but also the rewards on whatever parts of the story you are playing and there might be some unique legendary items and master versions of familiar items when you play on these higher invasion levels so there you have it, it doesn't sound like there's going to be a specific new game plus but you can and replay through the story on higher difficulties and unlock even greater rewards and the one thing that i am glad to hear about and i actually noticed this when i played the alpha back in november is that you can indeed chapter select and play through whatever mission you'd like so if there was a really fun boss battle that you want to replay or if there was just a fun mission that you want to re-experience just go select the chapter that that mission was under and then select that specific mission and load back in then finally another really important question that people want to know about is what are the plans on the release schedule of each episode or major updates in the game Darius answered at Rocksteady first by providing that image of the roadmap that we've already seen for Suicide Squad Kill the Just League but then went in a little deeper about some information here he said here that seasons are our big infusions of new content and there are four coming in the first year each lasting about three months each season will be themed around the free playable character introduced in it like season one launching shortly after the release of the game each season will also include an entirely new elseworld starting with a joker theme in season one seasons are also divided into two episodes each lasting around six weeks each episode will include new gear including an infamy set themed around an iconic dc villain new missions and new boss fights all for the low low price of you guessed it free he goes on to say that all episodes will be playable even after they have ended too so you can always go back and get that notorious weapon you need to complete your build or chill in an alternate version of metropolis is corrupted by the DNA of the mentally unstable clown. Wouldn't recommend staying too long though. Okay, so there you have it. Each season is set to last about three months with episodes within those seasons lasting about six weeks each. Obviously, we can only hope that there's going to be enough content and that the game is going to be fun enough for us to keep coming back within those three months that lead us into the next content drop. I'm glad at least that season one is gonna be launching not too long after the official release of the game. So we're gonna be getting a brand new playable character a new area to explore and loads of new content seemingly drop into the game for free just only a month after the game is officially launched next week so just as much as everybody else i'm going to be crossing my fingers that the gameplay loop is engaging enough for me to want to stay invested for those three months that lead us into a new playable character we will have to wait and see though and with that being said let me now kick it to you guys like i said there's tons of other questions and answers that you can check out in the official discord but based on everything that i went over here in this video what are you most most intrigued by what got you the most excited of course for future suicide squad kill the just league content going up on this channel make sure you keep it locked subscribe turn on those notifications the game is out in under a week for the deluxe edition and pretty much a week 
like for everybody else. Lots of videos coming your way. You do not want to miss it. Sound off with your thoughts in the comments below. I've been Caboose. I'll see you guys later.